The Century B1 Automatic Point Sampler automates sampling of free-flowing or non-free-flowing materials such as granules, powders, flakes, and pellets from gravity lines, vertical chutes, sloping chutes, and hoppers. To obtain a sample, the B1 sampler first cleans out the sample tube by running the auger in reverse. After purging, the auger is run in the discharge direction and the sample moves through the assembly to the discharge port. The product sampled is discharged through a flexible hose to a collection point. Another run option is continuous purge. This works well for small granules that can easily get pulled into the sampler when it is not running. This works by having the auger run in a continuous opposite direction until a sample needs to be taken. Once a sample is taken, it returns back to the continuous purging. Sample volume can be changed at the sampler controller, such as the SBC controller seen here. First thing that we'll do is we'll remove the T auger sample tube and sleeve assembly from the motor by removing a tri-clamp. Tri Remove the T. You can slide the auger out of the sample tube. You can then slide the sample tube and sleeve out of the T like so. And the sample tube separates from the sleeve. The half of the drive coupling is held to the auger via this pin, which can be removed. The coupling can be removed and the bushing removed from the auger. Reassembly is the reverse. Bushing, coupling, and pin. Reassembly of the entire unit goes as follows. Note there is an alignment pin in the T. Both the sleeve and the sample tube have holes. First we insert the sleeve, aligning the pin with the hole in the sleeve. Next we insert the sample tube, aligning the pin with the hole in the sleeve. Completion of assembly goes as follows. There is a coupler spider that is installed in the coupling. But the other half of the coupling is installed on the motor shaft. After you've installed that, you can stand the auger and bushing assembly vertically and then you can install the T sample tube and sleeve assembly. You then install your clamp.